a great big enormous turnip okay so you're going to listen to the introduction of the book uh, we'll kind of talk about it together and some of the things you just think about in your mind but I'll introduce the book especially to help you with some of those words and then afterwards when you finish watching the video you'll go back and read the book on your own okay so the great big enormous turnip and chicken little if you remember that book there's something about each of these books that is alike it's the same it says classic tales at the top okay classic tales that means you can expect an old story that you might have heard or read before these stories have been told over and over um, it won't be exactly like that story but will be a lot like it because they've been told by different people so have you ever heard of a story like that the great big enormous turnip and enormous just means gigantic it's another word of saying great big so they're trying to let us know just how big it is. Okay. We're going to turn first to page two. Okay, so here's page two. I know it doesn't show perfectly on the screen. I don't like that either, but we're going to do the best we can. Let's see if I can. Um, that's a little better. Okay, so there's page two. This story starts with one day. Many old classic stories start like that, or they might say once upon a time, right? So it says one day. This farmer planted a turnip seed and went off to bed. Look at that next page, page three. While the farmer was sleeping, the seed grew all night. Say that word, grew, grew. What two letters do you expect to see first in grew, gr? Okay, I bet if you find that word, gr, grew, you see that gr, right? Um, you can also look at that, how they say grew. They say it three times, actually four times, but how does it change every time they say it? What do you notice? It gets bigger, right? So think about that when you're reading. As the word gets bigger, your voice can get bigger. So where it says the seed grew all night, it grew and grew and grew. See, you can kind of illustrate how that sounds. Do you know what a turnip is? It's a vegetable. I actually really like turnips. They look kind of like potatoes when they're cooked. You know, they're boiled in something and it looks like a piece of a potato, but it tastes kind of like cabbage to me, if you know cabbage. I love them because I like potatoes and cabbage, so it works out. So turn to, or I'll turn to, page four. Okay, so here's page four. When the farmer came out the next day, what did he see? What happened? Just think in your mind. I know you don't have someone to talk to. But think about that. What happened? Okay. We're going to look down at page six. Remember, you're not reading it yet. We're going to give you a chance to read it. Right now, we're just kind of reviewing it. So what was happening on page six? What's going on? The farmer couldn't pull the turnip out, so he asked his wife to help him. We're going to go to page 10 and 11. So look at 10 and 11. It's kind of crazy, right? What was happening here? Got a lot of help there, right? So you're going to, when this video ends, you're going to go to the other link and read the book yourself from the beginning. Okay? I hope you enjoy it.